I welcome you all once again to this channel. I remain your friend, Fidel de Castro. The message I have today for all of you is, it would be honorable if all learned Nigerians, both home and abroad, unite together to give P2B a chance. That is my opinion. I saw, I have reasons for this, and I am still saying the same thing. As a man who have lived in diaspora, who have seen what governance is all about, what good governance is all about, the characters of public office holders. In Europe, you can go to the supermarket sometimes, you meet some public office holders, ministers, members of the parliament. You shop in the same supermarket with them. They carry the same trolley you're carrying. They go to the same supermarket and shop with you. After, when they finish, they go home with their receipt. That is what accountability does to people. It reshapes people's life. Peter B is one man I have seen whom I believe is competent in character. His antecedent speaks for him. I want you to listen to his recent town hall meeting. You know, when I talk about giving Peter B a chance, I have seen it in him that he is going to deliver. If only learned people like you and I, who have a voice, can actually come together and vote a man that will reshape the political space of Nigeria. It is not a campaign. I'm only airing, out, I'm only airing my own opinion and my own views based on what I have seen in the person of Pitobi. I do not, by this means, try to force you to vote for P2B, but I am telling you this based on my own personal observation and own personal conviction. If Nigerians can come together and vote for P2B, that we are, will be a new Nigeria that we all are wishing for. We will see it in our eyes, imagine. We will no longer say it will happen in 20 years, in 10 years. It will happen before our eyes. Watch this video and you will see for yourself what I am talking about. God bless you. Singapore is sustained by port operation. This port that we're talking about. This port that is in here. He knows. As I speak to you, Singapore have no place to build a, a seaport again. Do you know what they're doing? They're not building a port under the sea. They now want to develop under sea ports. So they now want to go below the water and put a port for 2050. Ah, wow. Because they have no land to do the port again. So they say, okay, see there here. Make you go on there and put port. Here, we are here. Quarreling every day with nonsense. People carry our money, chop, gun, their answer is excellent. If they are excellent. <laughs> Yo, 
young girl to give her a job will be punished by God. Because that's slavery of the highest order. She does not deserve it. She's supposed to be a father. She's supposed to show love to her. The same thing is what the mother is going to show. It's supposed to be a mother. It is not a society. So, we want to stop it. We want that girl to be able to have a job and do the right thing and do this, just the right thing. That's what we're going around with, not just fathers, with mothers. Who can say, Peter, you're wrong? That's not what we want to do. I was telling them when we were coming here about my last trip overseas. But I went with some some people who were 13. Then I went with young people. So when they asked me questions, I said, okay, make these people answer you. Now they are they more with the fight for you. Now they go fight for you. Fight will tell you. American, one of the American greatest economists today, uh, president today, President Clinton. <coughs> this picture is happening. My interest is to do that. This picture is the reverse thing. Those who make Clinton were in their thirties. Those who made Obama were that age. Your age. Students and people in the young youth in America say this is what we want. And when they had job. They were the people who insisted they will do this or that. So that is the four questions. The rest thing we're missing. Anything. Which one are we missing? Yeah. Teacher. 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 Teachers. Teachers. You know, I don't like talking about teachers because let me tell you, without teachers, they won't be society. Yeah. Teaching is a noble profession. People don't celebrate them. Uh, One of the hard days in Project Teacher. You don't know? Because they groom and see people. You see, Prof, that's part of what is keeping him. When you look at all of us that are taught and everything, they celebrate it. And everything. They celebrate it. They are happy with it. They are happy to look at the people, especially when you teach at the primary level. I said to people, I have two young people in my house. They are graduates. One boy, one girl. My daughter is a teacher. And she's always very happy when he visits her students. Now he's not teaching because I'm contesting elections. So I don't want, you know, I don't want that to be for one reason or another. But I can tell you, she's happy teaching. It is a noble profession. We And what you said is important. We must make sure that those who teach, because people don't have a job, they now see teaching as where well we will go manage. No. no. Teaching is what you're excited about. Teaching is what people make people. When you see people who have made society, who are kind people like Diana, it's because they were teachers. So they could see people in their young age, feel for them, they're happy with them, and everything. And I've seen it. I've seen it. I've gone to school to see my own daughter. And I see how students run to her and say, teacher this, don't jump in on top of her. They will tell her this. She will tell them this and everything. They are very happy seeing her. She's happy seeing them. They will ask this girl, why are you dressing? Oh, why is this? this? Why is that? And they say, oh, you were not in school yesterday. What happened? Blah, blah. And now she's not there. They see me down the road and say, they won't call me. This is it. And they say, no, because of this. So it's a noble, happy profession. Unfortunately, here, we've not decided to invest in education. Because we have not seen the value of education. Education is critical. It's number one, it's number two, it's number three. You must invest in it. And we're going to invest in it. And you will see it happen. We're not going to promote teachers for what they are. Teachers are one of those things, if you have them in any good society, even to do more, to do everything, they have a special condition and they're well paid. Here, we just take teacher, teacher. He says the teacher is like, ah, uh -uh, what's this one, Tonya? 
That's why we take our professors. This is the only country where Kassem earns more, more money than any professor. That's the only, this is the only country where we negotiate with bandits, but we can't negotiate with professors. <coughs> that shows how bad it is. It doesn't happen anywhere in the world. Professors in America earn more money than government. But here, <laughs> the local government chairman himself, the control professor. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Next one. Please, um, far, far, far. When I get from, when I drop us from, I have no pain. Okay, please, uh, we'll pack, we'll pack live. Um, if you go to, go on YouTube, uh, take back Niger TV, help us share. You can also, also remember the hashtag, hashtag, um, student town hall with PO. Please do that.